American Movie is a hard film to explain. It's a documentary about an amateur filmmaker named Mark Borchardt, who wants nothing more in life but to make movies. We quickly see that even though he has the motivation, he lacks most of the resources to accomplish this goal. The two biggest being the lack of money and the lack of actors. I think my mom's gonna have to end up going out in the woods. I mean, it's just one of those things. I have my shopping to do and I have I know. so much. The last day I could shoot, all of the extras have just fell through, man, except for Mike Shank right there, all right? You gotta help me. Mark himself has his share of problems as well. He is an alcoholic, has accumulated a tremendous amount of debt, and constantly doubts his own talents and decisions. Aesthetically, I'm not ready. The script is not ready. The casting hasn't even begun. A lot of people watching this may be taken aback by his persona, as he can often come off as selfish or arrogant, but his most redeeming quality is his motivation to achieve his vision. Though he has many obstacles in the way, he never gives up, constantly reworking scripts, coming up with new ideas for stories, and improvising on the spot whenever he comes across a problem. It's incredible to see Borchardt's mind working. He's always formulating the next move and always trying to inspire those around him to see things in the way he does. This whole thing is turned into a theatrical mockery. Do you understand that, Mike? No. <laughs> well, you will. By his side is his best friend, Mike Shank. I just wish the filmmakers would have given him more screen time. He gives the movie that much more realism, as you can tell he never really knows how to act around the cameras. I have more stories like that I could tell you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of drug-related stories. <laughs> I can tell you, you know. So <laughs> he's like a humble Robin around Borchardt's brash Batman. Do you think this is a little bit cathartic for you? Uh, very cathartic, Mark. You know what cathartic means? No. Another character is Mark's uncle Bill, who he is asking for money to make his film. Although he has about three hundred thousand dollars in the bank, he's always weary to give any money to Mark, and this makes for some amazing dialogue between the two. Get the three grand back, pay everyone back, take the profits. That'll be the day, that'll be the that'll day. Be, and you know what? I'm going to bring over a bottle of wine, man. Do you have a preference? That'll be the day. Red or white wine? Even though it's a documentary about a small-time filmmaker, it seems much bigger than that to me when I watch it. To me, it's all about a guy who wants nothing more than to make something of himself. A message I'm sure speaks to everyone, whether your dream is to make films, become a fireman, lawyer, or anything else. There's no denying that Mark Borchardt's determination, as well as his mistakes, are something that we can all learn from. Although Mark Borchardt didn't achieve fame in the way he originally intended, this movie's interesting characters, quotable dialogue, and never say die attitude have built it a massive cult following. They even appeared on an episode of Family Guy as themselves, and in my opinion, if you get Simpson, Family Guy, or South Park, then you've made it. I don't know, man. We didn't get the shots we need. Man, what do you think, Mike? I mean, if you saw action going on in front of you, would you know instinctively to center it in front of you? I don't know. Could someone take my soda out of the icebox, please, so it doesn't freeze? The film is a little hard to get a hold of, but if you can track down a copy, I'd give it a watch. It's one of the more interesting documentaries you'll ever see. Would you buy this movie for fourteen ninety five? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, man. You know, I if I can find 3,000 people like you across this country, man, I'm in business. <laughs>